Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore how to promote a domain controller. So here in this video, we are going to start from the scratch and uh, we will be using the Windows Server 2019 for this demo purpose. So I'm going to the virtual machines and click on create Azure virtual machine. So here I'm going to create the new resource group. Okay, and uh, here give the virtual machine name. Okay, and uh, region, I'm going to leave it with the North Europe, no infrastructure redundancy. And uh, here select the Windows Server 2019 data center. And uh, select uh, the size, one vCPU, 3.5 gig memory. And uh, create the user account and set up the password and uh, allow the inbound port for RDP and click on next for disk I'm going to select the standard SSD and uh, click on next for networking and uh, here leave it with the default selection name for the vnet subnet and public ip and click on next leave it with the default option and review create Okay, validation passed. Click on create. Initializing deployment. So let's wait for this virtual machine to be created and uh, up and running. Okay, so the deployment is complete. Now click on go to resource. And uh, here this is the public IP address and this is the private IP address. So I'm going to connect this VM. Copy the public IP address. Enter the username password. Okay, so we have successfully logged in and uh, let's wait for the server manager to come up and then we will be proceeding with uh, installing the roles for Active Directory domain services. Okay, so the server manager is launched. Click on add roles and features. Next, next. And here select active directory domain services and click on this add features. Next. Click on install. Okay, let's wait for this role signed features to be installed and then we will be proceeding with promoting this as a domain controller. 
Okay, so the installation succeeded. Click on close and uh, next click on this banner and uh, here we can click on this promote this server to a domain controller okay so we are going to create a new forest and uh, this is going to be the root domain name acgcloud.com Okay, enter the uh, DSRM password here. Okay, click on next and verify the NetBias name assigned to the domain and change it if necessary. Okay, this is the NetBias domain name. Click on next. And this is the database log file syswall folder location. Click on next. Okay, click on install okay let's wait for this installation to be completed so here as part of the installation the vm will reboot itself Okay, so now the VM has been rebooted and uh, now here we can see the domain has changed to acgcloud.com and uh, we are going to open the active directory. So here from the Windows administrative tools, you can choose active directory, users and computers. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new user. So this is going to be the ACG admin. ACG admin at acgcloud.com click on next and set up the password okay and click on next finish okay I'm going to add uh, this user to be a member of some other groups for the privileged administrator okay click on member of click on add so let me add our domain admins and uh, enterprise administrator Okay, now I'm going to log out and uh, log in with this new account on this VM. Okay, now let me enter ACG cloud slash ACG admin. Okay, so now we have created the new AD user and uh, we also logged in using that uh, AD user account with the respective password.
Okay, so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.